Welcome to video three for this unit on exponents and scientific notation. In this video, we're going to focus on using powers of 10. Sometimes powers of 10 are helpful for expressing quantities, especially very large or very small quantities. For example, the United States Mint has made over 500 billion pennies. In order to understand this number, we have to count all the zeros. Since there are 11 of them, we can write the number as 500 billion pennies. Using powers of 10, we can write this as 500 times a billion, or even as 5 times 10 to the 11th power. The advantage to using powers of 10 to write a large number is that they help us see right away how large the number is by looking at the exponent. The same is true for small quantities. For example, a single atom of carbon weighs about 199 10 septillionth grams. We can write this using powers of 10 as 199 times 10 to the negative 25th power, or equivalently as 1.99 times 10 to the negative 23rd power. Not only do powers of 10 make it easier to write this number, but they also help avoid errors since it would be very easy to write an extra zero or leave one out when writing out the decimal because there are so many to keep track of. Now let's consider how we could use powers of 10 to help us compare two quantities. Suppose we want to compare the world population, about 7.4 billion, to the number of pennies the U.S. made in 2015 about 8,900,000,000. There are many ways to do this. We could write 7.4 billion as a decimal, 7,400,000,000, and then we can tell that there were more pennies made in 2015 than there are people in the world. Or we could use powers of 10 to write these numbers. 7.4 times 10 to the 9th power for people in the world and 8.9 times 10 to the 9th power for the number of pennies. For a visual representation, we could plot these two numbers on a number line. We need to carefully choose our endpoints to make sure that the numbers can both be plotted. Since they both lie between 10 to the 9th power and 10 to the 10th power, if we make a number line with tick marks that increase by 1 billion, or 10 to the 9th power, we start the number line with 0 and end it with 10 times 10 to the 9th power, or 10 to the 10th power. Then when we plot the point for people at 7.4 times 10 to the 9th, and the point for pennies at 8.9 times 10 to the 9th, we can easily compare the two numbers. Now let's consider very small numbers. The width of a bacterium cell is about 2 times 10 to the negative 6 power meters. If we want to plot this on a number line, we need to find which two powers of 10 it lies between. We can see that 2 times 10 to the negative 6th power is a multiple of 10 to the negative 6th. So our number line will be labeled with multiples of 10 to the negative 6th. Note that the right side is labeled 10 times 10 to the negative 6th power, which can be written as 10 to the negative 5th power. The power of 10 on the right side of the number line is always greater than the power on the left. 
This is true for powers with positive or negative exponents. Now we can plot the location of the width of the bacterium on the number line. What if we need to perform calculations with very large or very small numbers? Powers of 10 can be helpful for making these calculations. For example, in 2014, the United States had 318,586,495 people who used the equivalent of 2,203,799,778,107 kilograms of oil in energy. How much energy was used per person? The amount of energy per person is the total energy divided by the total number of people. We can use powers of 10 to estimate the total energy as 2 times 10 to the 12th power and the population as 3 times 10 to the 8th power. So the amount of energy per person in the U.S. is roughly 2 times 10 to the 12th power divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th power. That is the equivalent of 2 thirds times 10 to the 4th power kilograms of oil in energy. That's a lot of energy. The equivalent of almost 7,000 kilograms of oil per person. In general, when we want to perform arithmetic with very large or very small quantities, estimating with powers of 10 and using exponent rules can help simplify the process. Thank you for watching video 3 of 4 for this unit on exponents and scientific notation.